Good morning, Britain. Should she stay or should she go? Cabinet ministers have been offering their support to Theresa May after her nightmare speech at the Conservative Party conference. The secret life of mass killer Stephen Paddock. Las Vegas police reveal he spent decades buying weapons while his girlfriend said she had no idea he was planning violence against anyone. A report into allegations of sexual abuse by the former Prime Minister Sir Edward Heath will be published this morning. As figures out today show more and more girls are seeking help from body image issues, is it time to sweep away airbrushed images from social media and magazines? And naked chef Jamie Oliver will be here later showing us how to make the ultimate meals on wheels. Thursday, 5th of October 2017, live from ITV Studios in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Susanna Reid. Hello, good morning. It's just gone six o'clock. Uh, welcome to the programme. You know it's going to be a good day, Susanna Reid, when Jamie Oliver's coming in to cook us a greasy breakfast. Ooh. Unfortunately, it's not a greasy breakfast. What do you mean? It's not what, what, what you're expecting. Bangers and, and, no. and, and bacon. It's and... huevos rancheros. Yeah. It's what? Yeah. I know I don't know what that means either. It's ranch eggs. <laughs> ranch eggs? That's what it yeah. means, is it? Ranch yeah. eggs. And he's it's cooking like a fancy omelette. He's cooking them I in the back so. of his van. <laughs> Actually, that is, is quite appealing. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jamie Oliver doing it. <laughs> so Jamie's going to come down. Wait, do me a favor. If Jamie's on his way, he's probably in his van. Yeah. Bring a couple of bangers, Jay. No, he does come on, healthy mate. food, remember? Well, wait, you can get healthy sausages, can't you? Yeah, not really. No, really, no. Really? No. Not, well, not when you're saying greasy breakfast. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. You have a few drinks, be, you need to mop it up. It's going to be... Have you had a few drinks? No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to bed? <laughs> there was that issue with the sleep. All oh, right. <laughs> Alex, you're with me in this. A bit of a greasy breakfast or...? I, I, I have a greasy breakfast probably every morning. So every bad. morning? There you go. Look at him. Yeah, yeah, but he spends the rest of the day in the gym. Yeah, that's a good point. No, not always. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the weather like? Is it gym weather today? Uh, it is gym weather today, actually, because it's, uh, it's a windy start to the day. We have a wind warning in place, uh, which the Mess Office issued. It's in place till around 9 o'clock this morning, and that covers uh, from East Anglia all the way to Wales and then up to Northern England, where we could see gusts of maybe 60 or 70 miles an hour in places. It's also a wet start to the day, so if you're just about to leave the house, remember your brolly, but hold on to it. And I just have to say, as the titles rolled and it said the 5th of October, I remembered it's my mum's birthday today. And oh, I forgot. <laughs> no. Happy birthday. I'll get the card later. Happy birthday, mummy birthdays. Yeah. Feeling go. bad. Um, see, what's the point of being on television unless you can say happy Absolutely. birthday to your mum? Exactly. <laughs> <Alex. Right. laughs> uh, just giving up to three minutes past six. So our main news this morning, cabinet ministers have been rallying around the Prime Minister Theresa May after her nightmare speech yesterday at the Conservative Party conference. Yeah, it was marred by a coughing fit, a prankster and the letters falling off the party slogan on the wall behind her. Uh, our chief correspondent Richard Gaysford is in Downing Street for us. It was quite an experience sitting through it, Richard, let alone having to do it herself. I understand number 10 have said that ministers have been ringing in to offer their support. Yes, and whatever we think of our senior politicians, Ben, they are human beings. They sat there and watched the Prime Minister suffer and would want to offer her some sort of solace.